How to create a hierarchy in Excel. Some tools are common across Microsoft applications and the SmartArt suite of tools is one of them. Using SmartArt, we can easily create graphics that can enhance any kind of document, uh, spreadsheet report or PowerPoint that we're creating. So if I want to create a hierarchy in Excel, if I manually have to create it using the cells and lines, drawing objects such as lines, it becomes a real messy uh, uh, way of doing it and very difficult to maintain. Instead, I can use SmartArt to insert a hierarchy and achieve the same effect. It's much easier to update and it looks better. So here I have a list of, um, I have a team structure and I want to create a hierarchy. So for that, I will go to insert. Under il illustrations, I have SmartArt. This will open the SmartArt graphic. Here I'll go to hierarchy. You have many options of a hierarchy. I'm selecting the first one and I say OK. So that creates the uh, object and puts it here. Now I need to update the text. I can either go to the uh, text and manually type it or I can go to each box or I can expand this text pane and type it here. Here since I have the text on the sheet already I'm going to select this press Control C then I select the graphic and uh, in the text pane, I say Control V. Now, if you see, everything is put at the same level. Uh, I've got all the names with the designations, but it's all at the same level, which is not what I want. To create the hierarchy, I just need to indent them. So Jennifer Johnson is the program manager, so she is the first level of the hierarchy. The project manager is the second, so I select that and say Tab. If you can see, she has now moved between Jennifer Johnson. Now. First team A lead comes under the project manager. So select this and say tab twice. If you can see in the hierarchy, this has now come beneath uh, the project manager. Now for the team members, we will tab until they are indented under the team lead, these two team members. So now I've got one level of hierarchy, but I still have these others uh, floating around there. I just need to use the tab button to move them to the appropriate hierarchy. So I can uh, tab and watch how the box moves. Now I want the team lead to come under the project manager. So tab again and yes, that's it. And do the same with the team members. I just press tab until I see that they've reached the correct place. Same here for the uh, last one. Now I've got all these uh, dummy text boxes here which I can then just uh, select and uh, delete. You just need to delete them either by delete or using the backspace. Now that I have that in place, I can close this and I can see I've got my uh, hierarchy uh, here. Now I'm just going to expand this a little bit so that it looks a little bigger and it's easier to read. So this is how to create a hierarchy in Excel. Please read the appended article for more information.